Ladies. And today we are looking at Esquire Paranormal Cabernita Baritone Telecaster. It's a baritone. Okay, man. So, um, we're going to get in deep to this one. Uh, this is the Squire Telecaster. It's just easier saying, calling it a baritone. Um, and I've been on a baritone tip for a long time. Um, probably more turned on to it for, uh, you know, Doyle Bramwell kind of tones than the, than the metal things. Um, and I've tried a few. I've had the Eastwood one, um, Sidejack. That's a great guitar, but it just felt really awkward to me. Um, I've turned my own Telecaster into a baritone. There's a video up here, you'll see that, um, which does sound fantastic. Um, but the action on that, you, you know, you need to go to the gym before you can play it kind of thing. Um, and then uh, I got hip to this Squire Paranormal Baritone Cabernita Telecaster. And um, the price point on it was just, just right for me at the, at the time. And I thought I'd, uh, I'd take a punt. I had a bit of money in the Reverb um, account or the PayPal account and just thought, yeah, I'd take a punt on it. And um, I'm very, very pleased with it. I'd read a lot of good things about it before I decided to go for it. I'm not one really to, as I've said in previous videos, to really like go over the finish and check the fretboard and look for faults. If the guitar plays good to me and feels good and sounds good, that, that's, that's good enough. Or, irrespective of what it says on, on the headstock, uh, that's kind of inconsequential to how it sounds. Um, it would be interesting, I suppose, to look at the pickups and the wiring and all that, but man, I, I don't really feel the need to take apart guitars if they sound good. Um, if they work, then they work, you know? It's, I mean, if you were to take apart a guitar, I'd probably be better off taking a guitar apart like this, that was this cut price point than a bigger one, but um, yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, we've got two P90s. Uh, the scale length doesn't feel too far away from a normal guitar. And it's just, uh, it's just a tone that's very like earth tone. It just resonates really nice. Um, and I like nothing more than plugging this in and just chilling through some deep blues and, um, and just, yeah, kind of losing myself with it. Uh, I'm not even really, put, I put a fuzz in front of it, it was fantastic and I put a uni vibe, but that's about it. So when those guitars, if you're into that laid back blues kind of playing, you could just plug into your amp and just, you know, lose a couple of hours. It's, 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 a, it's a great guitar, man. Um, you know, it's, I, I'm very happy with it. Um, so I'm gonna do no more talking now, we're just gonna get in. I'm gonna play you through the pickups and then I'm probably gonna play you out. Uh, volume, tone, pickup selector, bridge, neck. It's a simple guitar and I like things that are simple <laughs> in terms of easy to operate. Um, or be on a guitar or uh, pedals, amps, etc. I'm gonna play through the A1 amp and I'm playing it down into a s oversized 2x12 cabinet with Celestians in. Um, so there's a lot of bass response on this cab because it's oversized. So this setup just, just works together really nicely. Um, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna have reverb and if I do put any effects in, I'll be make sure to link them in or you know, and say that. Um, but yeah, uh, my summary, if you've got a, a bit of money to spare and you, you've been looking for a telecast, uh, uh, sorry, a baritone, I've tried a few and this one is by far my favorite um, in regards to what it says on the headstock, you know? It's a good guitar, it plays very, very well and I'm very happy with it. So uh, let's get into the, into the tones. Make sure to subscribe. Okay guys, we're gonna get straight into it, okay? Um, it is worth noting as well, since I've had this guitar, I've tuned it once. Um, I don't know if that's something to do with the strings or something like that, but the tuning stability on this is fantastic. I just checked it now, and it's still in tune. Um, take that tuner off. Um, yeah, so the tuning stability is fantastic. It plays fantastic, and it's good. Um, we're gonna begin on the neck pickup. Um, the tone is going to be maxed and the volume is going to be maxed and I'm just going to just try and play a pro simple progression and show you what it sounds like. <laughs> tone off now and see how that sounds. I 
actually quite responsive on the cheaper guitars that I've played you usually roll it off a hair and it's like you've thrown a blanket over the amp uh, but there's still quite a lot of signal in terms of tone getting through to the middle position. Um, oh, actually, no, I'll roll the volume off on the neck and we'll see how that sounds. So definitely a softer attack, as you'd expect. The volume comes in pretty quickly. Um, it's not like a, a zero to hero. It's, it's quite a nice taper on it. Again, I'm sure if you really wanted to go in deep, you could alter the bits on this. Being a Squire, it's going to be uh, cheaper parts than the Fender, but it, it, it works, man. It's good. So that's the neck, and we're going to move now to the middle position. Again, everything uh, maxed. So a little brighter, um, as you'd expect. Drop the tone. So you get quite a nice, nice uh, I actually like the middle position with the tone backed off a little bit. It's like a soft attack. Kind of sounds like a guitar, um, just a little bit deeper, not quite baritone, if that makes sense. On the guitars that don't have a treble bleed, you'll notice that you usually roll your volume off and you lose everything straight away. This actually retains something. Albeit a baritone uh, tele telecaster that's not meant to have a lot of treble in. the middle, we'll move on to the bridge, start with everything maxed out. Got a nice bite there, but it isn't too trebly. Um, but you definitely can hear a bridge attack. What I find really good with this is if I'm if I'm recording or just playing a loop, I will loop in the neck uh, position. 
and as soon as I go to the treble, or sorry, the bridge position, um, it just lifts the signal a little bit in terms of uh, a little bit more treble, but still has a baritone feel to it. So we'll drop the tone off now. So that's very usable right there. kind of effect, I guess. Quite a cool sound, almost trumpet-like. Um, and again, this is straight into the amp. Now we're going to uh, drop the volume. position with a lot of the tone control um, so yeah uh, what I'll do now I'll max everything out and I'll just play a chord and I'll go through the pickup selectors and then hopefully that can give you an idea of what this thing is capable of in terms of the tone um, a lot of scope with these guitars uh, I've seen some players uh, Rabia and some other players like playing metal through baritones it's just it is a really addictive sound um, and like I said I, I drift off into the blues stuff because that that works for me but yeah here's the pickups anyway I'll stop rambling. Neck. Middle. Bridge. guys so i hope this kind of helped you uh you know um see what the guitar like i said is capable of working through the pickup selectors and the tone um i'm gonna instead of running through various pedals and all that kind of crap i'm gonna find my favorite settings with it i'm just gonna play you out um so yeah if you are new here and you like these kind of videos please make sure to subscribe like and share where you can um there's lots of good content coming up and lots of good content looking back um i appreciate every one of you that's been with me uh, along this journey and it, and it means a great deal to me okay this is richie from fresh junkie signing out peace
Thank you.